गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन फीटल एक्ो टीचिंग फ्रॉम द रेफर सीरीज डन बाय डॉक्टर प्रदीप श्रीनिवासन फ्रॉम बैंगलोर रेफर सीरीज स्टैंड फॉर रेडियोलॉजी एजुकेशन फॉर एनहेंसमेंट ऑफ रेडियोलॉजिस्ट यू कैन गूगल आर ई एफ ई आर डॉट एम ई डी आई के एन आई टी डॉट ओ आर जी दैट इज रेफर डॉट मेडिनेट डॉट ओ आर जी फॉर मेनी सर्च वीडियोज एंड फॉर ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग कोर्सेस ऑन फीटल एक्ो अनइ्लॉयडी एनल सोनोग्राफी एक्सेट्रा टूडे वे आर गोइंग टू सी अ केस ऑफ कंजेनिटल हार्ट डिजीज इन अनोमली स्कैन द इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट इन टूडे स्कैन इज as the components of the abnormality evolved the decisions made initially were a particular type of abnormality and as the proper views emerged totally contrast to what decision had been made a new diagnosis and conclusion was done so this is what practically happens as we do our fetal echoes on a daily basis so this video will tell you how views become very important and how until you get your entire fetal echo views your analysis may be wrong and how in between you may change tracks and then go to another diagnosis so let's start with a video so the, this is on the left side the cardiac apex is pointing to the left the size of the heart appears normal the squeeze of the heart appears normal in the abdomen the ivc is on the right side aorta is on the left side there is a normal abdominal situs and the, there is a levocardia so the first appearance of the four chamber view shows that the symmetry of the chambers is lacking there is asymmetry with a slightly small sized left atrium and left ventricle as compared to right atrium and right ventricle then we have a large void or anechoic area in the region of membranous interventricular septum and i am not sure whether it's a vsd or a dropout artifact i go to do the dopplers of the tricuspid valve which shows a normal e by a ratio then the mitral valve which shows a normal e by a ratio flows across the tricuspid and mitral valves are normal when i take the chamber sizes the right ventricle diameter is 9.7 mm corresponding to 0.7 z score whereas the left ventricle inlet diameter is 7.2 mm obviously showing a small size slightly small sized left ventricle then i look at the atrium we have the right atrium measuring 9.5 mm left atrium measuring 6.9 mm and thus showing that the left atrium is smaller than the right atrium subsequently color doppler shows again a slightly smaller left ventricle then i take another cine to look carefully for the crux of the heart and then i indeed realize that it is not a dropout but there is a true ventricular septal defect as shown here now use color doppler to see if there is any help to look for any shunt sometimes color doppler will not show the shunt unless you are in a direction which is parallel to the flow of the shunt now we are perpendicular to the flow of the shunt however this shows a slightly small size left ventricle and a normal size right ventricle then i rotate the transducer and try to get a left ventricular outflow tract view so you can see here this is the interventricular septum and suddenly the interventricular septum stops and then there is a 
large VSD. This is the ascending iota here and there is complete lack of continuity of the interventricular septum with the anterior wall of iota. So VSD gets confirmed with two views that is the four chamber view and the left ventricular outflow tract view. So that's a clear demonstration of the ventricular septal defect in the outflow view. I was not happy with the LVOT so I'm trying to demonstrate the LVOT. So this is the iota with the anterior wall, posterior wall. The posterior wall is continuous with the mitral, anterior mitral leaflet whereas the anterior wall if you see there is no continuity with the interventricular septum. So I thought that this was a VSD and the LVOT is not continuous with the VSD because of the septal defect. Then we got the right ventricular outflow tract view where the size was 5.4 mm corresponding to Z score of 0 0.9 was normal and the flow across the pulmonary artery was 63 centimeter per second which was normal and then I try to take both the outlets you can see that that's the RVOT which is big that's the LVOT which is narrow and small and we measure the iota that is at the ascending aortic level which shows a measurement of 3.2 mm with a z-score of minus 1.9 showing that the left ventricular outflow tract and the ascending iota are narrow. The flow across the ascending iota distal to the valve is 69 centimeter per second which is normal so there was no gradient or aortic stenosis. Again trying to demonstrate the continuity of the interventricular septum with the ascending iota. There is something missing here which at this point of time I could not understand but I just thought that the VSD was so large that the ascending iota was sort of completely cut off from the left ventricle in the LVOT view. I could not understand what was going on but then I just thought okay let's wait for more views and analysis. The ventricular septal defect measured about 3.6 mm and now after becoming more confident about it I try to demonstrate in multiple views showing a large ventricular septal defect in the membranous interventricular septum. Now with color Doppler you can see the shunt across the ventricular septal defect where the blood was going from the right ventricle to the left ventricle. Now the three vessel view showed a large or normal sized pulmonary artery, a smaller ascending iota and a normal SVC. So you can see that in the PAS in the relationship the iota which is supposed to be larger or in between the size of the pulmonary artery and superior vena cava is only the size of superior vena cava. And I do a cine at the level of three vessel view to show that there is normal disposition anterior mid posterior 1, 2, 3, left, mid, right, but instead of big, medium, small, it is big, small and small. Then we try to get the arch of iota and here you have an extremely narrow arch of iota. So at the V confluence of the three vessel tracheal view, you can see the gross discrepancy between the ductus arteriosus and arch of iota with the arch of iota being very small only 1.7 mm. That's the SVC, IVC with the right atrium showing the hammock view. That's the color Doppler showing the venous return in the IVC. That's the ductal arch and then we wanted to see the iotic arch because the left heart chambers were small I was trying to find out and the mitral valve and aortic valve were normal. I was trying to see if there was a coarctation of iota but the aortic arch looked normal especially at the level of the duct there was no narrowing. Then after some time we called the patient back and then 
did the scan again showing the small size left heart chambers, a large VSD, a normal interatrial septum and for the first time I found something else. When I went from the 4 chamber to 5 chamber to 3 vessel view, I just was shocked to see that the iota was coming out from the right ventricle. This is the right ventricle, follow the arrow, that's the outlet and from the outlet comes out the iota and this is the pulmonary artery again coming out from the right ventricle. So if you watch closely, it's a double outlet right ventricle with both the pulmonary artery, iota and pulmonary artery coming out from the right ventricle. So this was not known until we got this view and our diagnosis suddenly changed from just a hyperplastic left heart with a large VSD to a hyperplastic left heart with a VSD with double outlet right ventricle with normal disposition of iota and pulmonary artery. Next I am concentrating on the RVOT, this is the RVOT and you can see that this is the pulmonary artery and you can see here the first vessel coming out from the RVOT is the iota as we go above. Now I am going above so you can see the iota coming out and then the pulmonary artery comes out. So the iota is still to the right of pulmonary artery and still posterior to pulmonary artery but the iota comes out from the right ventricle. So now I am very confident and I try to demonstrate this is the right ventricle that is the pulmonary artery that is the ascending iota. Both the iota and pulmonary artery are parallel to each other and both of them arise from the right ventricle. So you can see the same in Cine. So here is RV anteriorly placed pulmonary artery, posterior placed iota, both iota and pulmonary artery coming from the right ventricle and the iota being much smaller than what it should be in relation to pulmonary artery and much smaller for the gestational age. Now I split the screen and you can see that this is the RV giving rise to iota and that is the RV giving rise to pulmonary artery. And that's the three vessel view with a small size pulmonary artery. And here we have RV giving rise to iota. And the same in Cine, you can see that the RV, that's the aortic valve, that's the ascending iota. So RV gives rise to iota. And once again, four chamber view, small size tail LV, normal mitral valve, normal tricuspid valve large membranous VSD and again reiterating the findings a small aortic arch, la normal or large duct and hammock view showing the sorry and RVOT view showing the pulmonary valve, pulmonary artery, aortic valve ascending iota. So that is the interventricular septum, that is ascending iota, that is pulmonary artery, it is a large VSD and on Cine you can see the VSD, RV, iota and pulmonary artery both coming out from the RV in an oblique LVOT view the pulmonary veins draining into the left atrium, the iota SVC sorry so SVC IVC draining into right atrium that is again the four chamber view that is the fossa ovalis septum primum septum secundum there is no ASD and this is the circle and sausage view you can see the right ventricle giving rise to the pulmonary artery main pulmonary artery, right branch pulmonary artery and you can see a very very small ascending iota here. So this view is very important and a good view to show the size relationship between the pulmonary artery and iota. So it is RV, PA, RPA, iota, RA. 
that's the ductal arch and that's the color doppler showing that the right ventricle gives rise to PA and also iota. So this is the RV, iota in color. That's RV and PA in color. And you can see both RV giving rise to PA and iota. That's SVC. So today we saw a case of hyperplastic left heart with small sized left atrium, left ventricle, large membrane is VSD, normal interatrial septum, normal mitral and tricuspid valves, double outlet right ventricle with iota being posterior to pulmonary artery, pulmonary artery being anterior to iota with normal or slightly altered orientation absence of crisscross, mild parallelism of iota and pulmonary artery, small sized iota, a very small sized arch of iota and a normal sized pulmonary artery and ductus arteriosus. So that's RV giving rise to iota, that's RV giving rise to pulmonary artery. So for such videos and more learning, I would request you to google refer.medikinit.org Thank you for watching. Happy learning. This is Dr. Pradeep from Bangalore. Fetal Echo Teaching under the Refer Series. This was a case of double outlet right ventricle where the diagnosis emerged much later as we proceeded to get more views of fetal echo. So it is very important. The take home message is do not conclude what you initially see get convinced, get all the views properly and finally conclude the diagnosis. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.